I will be taking myself on a date and telling you how being alone has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I 100% believe that I would not have been able to achieve as much as I have if I had not been single, if I had not been learning, reading, capturing all the time and constantly looking for my next move, I would not be the person I evolved into today. But like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I hope you get something out of the rest of this video. First breakfast featuring my grandma's tangelo tree. That was so good. First stop, the Phoenix Art Museum. Okay, this one is my favorite. Right here. Do you work here? Oh. What does this painting say to me? Get back here you slimy, sneaky, big ego having, double life having, repetitive, predictable. I'm going to burrito wrap you in that cape. It's nice seeing what thoughts come to your mind without an immediate influence from another person around you. Co-creating is nice, but I learned that it's important to distance yourself from other people, distance yourself from social media, because a lot of times what, how you hear people talking nowadays, if you pay more attention, they talk exactly like what they see on their news feed. You can even tell who a person has been hanging around because they talk just like them. I want to get away from that on a regular basis. Anytime I tell somebody that I did this alone or I'm going to do this alone, they always ask me, like, are you sad? And the answer is no, I'm not sad. I Here's the thing with me, I still have moments of sadness, but I've always loved being alone. Being alone should never feel lonely. Not needing to check with anybody's schedule is absolute freedom. Now I did see other people here at this museum that a lot of them were by themselves. Usually you don't see that. A lot of them were probably doing the same thing that I was, but you know, I'm open to making friends wherever I go and being alone together. But here's the thing, people that love being alone and love being single don't feel the need to force any type of connection with anybody because our expectation for human connection is sky high. It's throwing up gang signs. Even something simple as going out to eat alone has allowed me to fill a perfectly empty space with meaningful thoughts rather than meaningless small talk. It's allowed me to be more mindful and to eat slower and to really just enjoy every single bite that I'm taking. Also, people watching is definitely an interesting concept. You can actually read the relationship dynamic between two people like just by looking at them and how they interact. So as you can see, the single life does not consist of me drinking, partying. I'm not on any relationship app. I'm not making myself available to anybody. It's just me healing, making myself happy, and knowing that I've been enough. Let me tell you about Camelback Mountain. I started at 9 a.m. the next morning, and it's a mile up and a mile back. Not very much, right? But you're climbing. I know. You're climbing <laughs> all the way up. You can't even call it a hike. 
It's a climb. Originally went by myself, but I made some friends at the top of the mountain. We talked for a couple of hours. It turns out, you know, you just always, always attract like-minded individuals and it always happens on hikes for me. It's the best workout ever. We have to literally go all the way up that, it's all rock. And then over here, you can't see it, but all rock. These guys look like strangers now, but we got to talking shortly after I took this video full of interesting conversation and we ended up hiking all the way down together. It was the hardest hike that I've ever been on. Definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, be sure to give this video a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.